Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be talking about producer and consumer surplus, a very important concept for all AS level students. Um, this concept will provide framework for understanding market efficiency, market equilibrium, impact of taxes and subsidies on market equilibrium and policy analysis. These concepts are fundamental in microeconomics and they lay the foundation for more advanced economic analysis in higher levels of study. So without wasting any time further, let's go ahead and learn what consumer and producer surplus means. Now, as far as the meaning of consumer surplus is concerned, it is the difference between what consumers are willing to pay and what they actually end up paying for the commodity. How do we identify and locate consumer surplus on a graph? It is generally a triangle below the demand curve and above the price level. Let's see how it looks on a graph. This is the graph. So we have price on the y-axis and quantity on the x-axis. Right? So this is my demand curve. This is the price and quantity situations for this given scenario. So as far as the definition concer is concerned, it is the area below the demand curve and above the price level. So this entire triangle namely PAE or AEP, AEP, this is my consumer surplus. Now when the price changes, the consumer surplus also ends up changing. So let's take a look when the price rises. So when the price is rising from P to P1, my consumer surplus in this scenario is also changing because as the price rises, quantity demanded for this given commodity would tend to fall. So there will be fewer customers willing to pay this price P1 and hence the consumer surplus would reduce and this area would be again below the demand curve above the price line. So it is P1, A and B. So this triangle is the new consumer surplus with a price that has gone up from P to P1. Now when the price falls from P to P2, quantity demanded increases because consumers become uh, capable of affording this particular commodity. So the quantity demanded has increased from Q to Q2. Now in this scenario, again as far as the definition is concerned, how do we identify or locate consumer surplus. So it is the area below the demand curve and above the price level. So this area, the bigger triangle, if you could follow this lead, this is the consumer surplus in the situation where price has fallen down from P to P2. So the third scenario for consumer surplus is ACP2, which is A, C and P2. So this is how consumer surplus gets impacted when the price for a particular commodity increases or decreases. So on a general notion, with a reduction in price, when the price falls, consumer surplus is uh, rising and with an increase in price, consumer surplus tends to fall. So we saw when the price increased, consumer surplus decreased and when the price fell, consumer surplus increased. Let's take a look at what is producer surplus. So producer surplus is the difference between what producers are willing to sell at and what they actually receive. How do we locate producer surplus on a graph? So it's again generally a triangle above the supply curve and below the price level. This is how it would look on a diagram. So this is my diagram. This is the supply curve. This is price on the y-axis, quantity on the x-axis. So any area which is above the supply curve and below the price line is the producer surplus. So area equivalent to APE is the producer surplus. Let me just write that down for you. Producer surplus is equivalent to APE. So let's assume now due to certain reasons the price for this particular commodity has gone up. So this is where the price would now be. And as the law of supply states, quantity supplied would tend to rise with a rise in price. So this is the new scenario. So in this new scenario, now let me label this point as uh, C. 
So now in this new scenario, the producer surplus as far as the definition is concerned is the difference between what the producer is willing to sell for and what he actually receives. So this is the triangle that we would be considering as the producer surplus. So in the price scenario where the price has gone up from P to P1, the producer surplus has gone up, the producer surplus has increased from APE to APP1C. All right, this, this bigger triangle is now the producer's surplus. Let me jot that down for you. A, P1 and C. Now let's assume because of something the price has gone down. So as the law of supply operates with a reduction in price, quantity supplied would also fall. So this is the new scenario where the price has gone down and consequently the quantity has also gone down. Again, difference between what a seller is willing to sell at and what he actually receives. So this is the triangle which would represent producer's surplus. Let me label this point as say B. So the new scenario again with a reduction in price is equivalent to A, P2 and B. Where is A, P to B? This is A, P2 and B. This is the producer's surplus. So what do we understand with this? With an increase in price, producer surplus increases and with a fall in price, producer surplus reduces. We could see that when the price increased to P1, producer surplus was much greater than the original black one and it was equal to A, P, 1, C. When the price fell down, it was much smaller than the black one and in this case it was A, P, 2, B. So let's quickly take a look at how both the scenarios are depicted on a market equilibrium diagram. So in a market scenario, we have an equilibrium point here and this is my this is the supply curve, this is the demand curve, this is the price at equilibrium and this is the quantity at equilibrium. So what have we learned? Where is the consumer surplus in this? Any area above the price line below the demand curve. So this area is my consumer surplus. So this is consumer surplus and the area, the area beneath the price line and above the supply curve is my producer surplus. Let me shade that as well. So the one shaded in red here is my producer surplus. Let me jot that down for you. This is producer surplus. Now in a market scenario when both producer surplus and consumer surpluses are added together we get something ca called as a society surplus. This also is another term that we could use for economic efficiency. This is the maximum welfare that can happen in a society given the forces of demand and supply. So what is a society surplus? It's an addition of consumer surplus plus the producer surplus. So if we are supposed to locate it on the diagram, this is the society surplus. Now let's quickly take a look at what happens to the consumer surplus and producer surplus if there are certain changes that occur in the demand and supply situations in a given market. So in this market situation, we see that the supply curve has shifted to the left. So there's a decrease in supply. So because of a reduction in supply now, we have an increase in the price level from P to P1 and a reduction in quantity from Q to Q1. When we take a look at on the impact of consumers on consumer surplus, this is the initial consumer surplus. Let me write that down for you so it becomes easy for you to locate where the initial consumer surplus is. So consumer surplus initial situation is equal to pointers P, E, B. With an increased price, consumer surplus is equivalent to P1 M B, right? So this red zone here is the new consumer surplus. 
the question was what is the impact on consumer surplus so due to an increase in price we studied in the previous slide consumer surplus has reduced that's what has happened because of a shift in the supply curve now let's see what is the impact on the producer surplus because of the changes in the demand and supply situations so we see here that the demand has shifted to the left indicating a decrease in demand and we need to put an arrow here to show that the demand has decreased because of which the price has gone down from P to P1 and quantity has also gone down from Q to Q1. Now in this case we are looking for producers surplus the way to locate it is something below the price line and above the supply curve. So the initial producer surplus is equivalent to points A, P, E. So initial producer surplus is equivalent to A, P, E. Let me show that to you again. So it is A, P, E. So this entire triangle is the producer's surplus. Now due to a fall in the price, what has happened to the producer's surplus? So this is the producer surplus new scenario. It is equivalent to A, P1, N. Let me show that to you again. It is equivalent to A, P1, N. This entire triangle is the new producer surplus because of a reduction in the price. So what has been the impact on producer surplus because of a reduction in price? Producer surplus has reduced. So this is it in today's video. I'll come back with another topic in another video. Bye now. Take care.